Welcome to this Vegas Nerve Restorative Yoga. My name is Melissa. For this class, you're going to need two blocks, a yoga strap, and a bolster. So our culture tends to move faster than the speed of our bodies. And that means that we get into nervous system activation. And when it goes on for too long, dorsal shut down. So let's just clear that out of our bodies first. Just a little bit of meridian massage. So down the inside of your arms, up the outside of your arms. So this can be soothing, calming for you. Helps to clear the anxiety from your heart. And let's just begin with the breath too, a little physiological sigh to reset. So two inhales through your nose and a longer exhale through your mouth. And then we're gonna come into our first restorative yoga pose, which is gonna be a restorative locus. You're gonna have two blocks at the top of your mat, your bolster at the bottom of your mat. Your shoulders are gonna go here, your feet are gonna go here. You're gonna be in the pose for 10 minutes. Okay, so you're gonna rest your forehead on the ground and breathe into your low back and your kidneys. So we're living in a culture that moves much more quickly in a more demanding way than the rhythms and needs of our bodies and our nervous system. The attention economy of social media alerts us all day long and consumer culture feeds into our insecurity. And so much of our social connections happen online. Our lives move at a hurried and stressful pace and we struggle to pay for our shelter and our food because of cost of living. And we long for meaningful social connections. So no wonder so many of you turn to my Vegas Nerve restorative yoga classes and yoga nidras again and again to regulate your nervous systems.
Okay, take a breath. And you're gonna find your way out of restorative locust pose. And you're gonna put your blocks off to the side. Okay, and you can also put your bolster off to the side. I'm just gonna pull mine up underneath my knees so that it doesn't get too dirty here. But you're gonna need your strap. We're gonna do a restorative hand to big toe pose and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make it restorative. We're gonna be holding this pose for five minutes. And the reason why I've chosen this pose for this class to for the calm um, vagus nerve class is that your urinary bladder meridian runs along the backs of your legs and then all the way up the back of your body on either side of your spine. So it, by stimulating the backs of your legs, it's very calming for your nervous system. So take your strap, put it along the ball of your foot, and then you're going to rest back, draw your leg into the air. Your, doesn't matter which one because you're going to just switch after you do one side. And I want you to just let your leg rest into that prop. You're not going to be yanking it in like you might normally, which I wish you wouldn't do that either. But just let your leg hang in it. Like in the cartoons, you know when you see the cartoons when they had broken legs and they... This was always in the cartoons when I was kids. The leg would always be up in some kind of pulley system. So I don't want you yanking your leg in or pulling it in. I want you to just let it rest there so that it's more restorative. So I know we're all rushing around trying to have the perfect morning routine, trying to be, do our yoga, trying to get our exercise in, We're trying to have meaningful work, be good people, and living in a world that demands a lot of us. And this can activate our nervous systems. So it's really great to take this time where we step out of that very rushed pace to slow down to the speed of our bodies. And because we are all connected, when one person slows down and regulates their nervous system, we co-regulate. So that has an effect on other people. When you're around somebody who moves slower and is regulated, it gives us permission to slow down and we feel calmer. So by healing your nervous system, you are healing others.
Okay, you're going to release the side. Pause for a moment, feel, just feel the difference between the two sides. Let your body integrate and receive. Just notice that tendency to rush. We're just gonna move at the pace of our bodies. Then we're gonna switch sides. So you're gonna put the strap around the ball of your left foot. Draw your left leg in. You're gonna be on this side for five minutes as well. And again, you're just going to Choose the position that you're gonna draw your leg into. You wanna feel sensation on the back of the leg and then you're just gonna rest into the support of the strap so that you're no longer like yanking your leg in. So that's how we're gonna make it restorative. So you're resting into the support of the strap. So, so often in our days we are pushing and striving and Kind of rushing against time and the clock instead of following our natural rhythms, our natural pacing. And when we heal our nervous systems, it's all about listening to our bodies more feeding ourselves when we're hungry, listening to our emotions, by connecting with our bodies, connecting with each other, sleeping when we're tired, resting when we're tired. And as I said before, when we slow down, because most of us are going to need to slow down and trust our nervous systems, the pacing that they're asking us to go at. Like when we're agitated, we need to discharge that excess energy. When we're depressed, we need to give ourselves deep rest. So to trust our nervous system response. And if you want more support with that, you can check out my Revive and Thrive Incubator. I've got a whole month in there where we talk about climbing the polyvagal ladder, widening your window of tolerance. And it goes very systematically through your nervous system, which I can't really do here on YouTube. So if you want more support with that, definitely check that out in the link below.
Okay, slowly release the side. Pause here. So let your body receive that and integrate. Notice how you're feeling. Notice if you're feeling more calm and connected to your own body, to the earth. And then we're going to be moving into child's pose, which if that bothers your knees, you could do knees to chest pose here instead, holding on behind your knees. Okay. Otherwise, let's come up for a child's pose. You can put your strap off to the side. Just check and see your pacing between the poses too. We wanna to move nice and slow. I like a little bit of elevation in my child's pose. You're gonna be in this pose for five minutes. You are giving yourself a beautiful gift today by taking this time to connect with your body, to restore your body, to restore your energy, to feel your breath, and to recover from the tyranny of hyper productivity. So as you're in this pose, ask yourself, if, do I trust in the divine timing of my life? And what else needs to be healed, released, and brought into conscious awareness for me to trust the pacing of my nervous system, to trust the pacing of my body?
Okay, you're going to come out of this pose. We're going to change it slightly so that it becomes a restorative twist. Okay, so you're going to walk your knees over to the left, lower your hips down, lengthen up tall, and then you're going to lower your torso down. So you're in a nice restorative twist, a very gentle twist. And that's the thing, we're conditioned to believe we have to push more and do more and work harder. But when we come into our bodies, we're learning to take a much gentler pace and to overcome the conditioning of our thinking. We're reprioritizing the needs of our bodies rather than overriding our bodies with the, the things that we've been taught. Okay, so let's make our way out of this side. 
and we're gonna come over to the other side so you're just gonna walk your knees over to the right side off the right side of your mat lower your left hips down lengthen up long through your spine lower your torso down In restorative yoga, in Vegas and restorative yoga, we listen to our bodies through interoception, attunement, and start to feel a sense of resonance between your needs and build trust with your body. Okay, we're going to come out of this pose and we're going to come into a healing meditation which you can do sitting in a chair you can do it sitting on a meditation cushion i'm going to sit on a block you could do it you could do it lying down if you wanted to so you're going to choose what's best for your body today we're going to do it for three minutes so I'm going to combine one part of it. It's going to be like a Kundalini meditation. And one part of it is going to be a nervous system meditation. So we're going to draw from the nervous system field, the butterfly meditation where you hook your thumbs and then you put them on your, just under your collarbones. And instead of tapping, we're going to circle here. So there's some acupuncture points, which is probably why you tap there, called uh, some lung points that help you to breathe deeper. And the more you breathe deeply down into your diaphragm, the more it turn, it helps you to tap into your vagus nerve, which is the parasympathetic part of your nervous system, which um, helps you to feel calm and connected. So that's one part of it. And then we're going to chant um, ra ma da sa sa se so hung. Ra stands for the sun. So we're going to connect with, connect with the sun. So being connected to nature is a way to regulate with your nervous system. 
Ma sounds, connects with the moon. Da connects with the earth. Sa connects with spirit. So spirit is something else you can connect with to regulate your nervous system and connect with your vagus nerve. And then sa se so hung, all that part of it makes that, draws all that, all that into you is the easiest way to say that. So um, I'll start and you can join in. It's a really simple melody. And when you tone, when you make sound, it vibrates in your throat and then in your chest and your body and all that vibration um, activates your vagus nerve as well. Ramadasa Sase So Hang Ramadasa Sase so hung Ramadasa Sase So Notice how you feel. So I just love the sounding because it deepens your breath, especially your exhale, which really helps to regulate your nervous system and turn on that vagus nerve and it vibrates your vagus nerve, so it's, it's really great. And then this is nice because it helps to deepen the breath as well. So let's go ahead and rest back for Shavasana. Okay, so as you rest back in Shavasana, I'm going to just pick up the Zephyr Chime. You're gonna be in Shavasana for five minutes. We're gonna let the spirit of the wind move the Zephyr, ch zephyr Chime. and just let the healing sounds of the Saphir Chime serenade you in Shavasana.
Okay, so gradually allow your breath to deepen. We think the earth, we think the wind, we think the sun, we think the camas for being here and supporting our practice today. Letting yourself wiggle and stretch out. And you can bend your knees and roll to your side. Slowly make your way up to seated. And I would love it if you put, I'm going at the pace of my body in the comments. If you haven't already subscribed for these Vegas Nerve Restorative Yoga and Yoga Nidras, then be sure to do that. I'll put out lots more of those on this channel. And thanks so much for being here and liking this video as well. My name is Melissa. Also check out the Revive and Thrive Incubator. There's lots more. I go into lots more depth on nervous system regulation in there. So thanks so much for being with us. I'm sending you so much love from beautiful British Columbia. May your joy be as deep as our Pacific Ocean. May you be as rooted as the old growth trees in our forests. And may you be as strong as our mountains.